107 days out from Ironman California. Today is our first swim test. So today we gotta do a thousand yard swim test. So it should be a pretty interesting day. It should be a pretty challenging test. Really looking forward to that. Uh, but we're not gonna do that until later. We gotta go head into work. I gotta edit a lot of videos, uh, YouTube videos, TikTok videos, and then uh, I've gotta reach out to a few more companies. Uh, regarding like partnerships and things like that. So that's the plan today is we got a big test and then this weekend we got a we got a bike test. So we'll get to that when it comes. But first things first, we gotta crank out some some work and then we'll go hit our swim test after that. So this is the journal that I've been talking about that is coming on drop two of LOA. It's called the Manifest Your Dreams Journal. It's something that I've created and something I've been thinking about for a really long time. And uh, I really think there is a, a process, a daily morning process to get you to be able to manifest the things that you want in life. And I think number one is consistency, right? You need something consistent that you can jot down and uh, kind of steer you in the right direction and something that you can come back to every single day rather than being inconsistent, maybe you write down your goals on paper, on your phone, this and that, and it's just not consistent. Um, I think this is really important to you know, keep by your side, um, write things down, meditate on them, and you know, kind of come back to them daily. So it's gonna be a daily practice that is made up by four different kind of exercises to do. So um, just, to touch brief on it, gratitude, what your burning desires are, like what are your macro goals, and then like what are the things that you need to do on a daily basis to make sure that you're getting to those goals, and then also momentum. Momentum is huge, so we have a way to kind of document the momentum that you're creating, and I think it's just gonna be a really, really impactful journal to really help you kind of streamline and get the things that you want to get done in the most efficient way possible, you know. I think it's important to write things down, number one, write down your big goals, and then also have like a plan of attack of like what you need to do for today to get you to these big goals. So these exercises, they've already helped me throughout the years, and I have just figured out a way to create my own spin and create my own custom way to kind of daily journal and really kind of help you with this process. So really looking forward to this coming out. It's gonna come out probably in a month or two, it's, it's gonna be a game changer for you guys. So really looking forward to you guys getting your hands on this. Still cold. Next is 4 by 50 with paddles and a buoy. 15 second interval.
This swim test is officially complete. Thousand yards was the goal today. And uh, overall, I felt like it was a really good test. Um, the first few hundred yards, you kind of are panicking a little bit because you're like, damn, I got to go for like a pretty long time. So you don't really start to settle in until like the 500 mark. Um, but Overall, it was a really good test. For one thing that kind of bugged me was I got a notification on my watch and it cleared the screen of where I was at yardage-wise and time-wise. So it took me like, I would say I lost probably like 15 to 20 seconds just trying to clear the screen and get back to see where I was. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. I, I'm gonna say, just to be safe and conservative, that I lost 10 seconds. So I'm gonna deduct that. I definitely lost more than 10 seconds, but I'm just gonna say I lost, I lost 10 seconds just trying to shuffle around and, and get my watch to clear. Um, so total time for the thousand yards was 1635. That's the total time. Average heart rate was 128. Took about 436 strokes to get there. Average pace was 140 per 100 yards. So, pretty solid test. I gotta do the math to see uh, what my, like, what my average pace time is now um, for the training block. So, yeah, overall, really pumped with it. It was a good, it was a good test. And, uh, you know, now that's over. Now we get to go to work and improve upon those numbers. So, we got dinner next. We got some ground beef, some white rice, and a little bit of tapatio, um, and then we're just gonna be working the rest of the night. So let's uh, let's enjoy this meal first. That's it for the night. I'm going to bed. Catch you guys in the morning. Every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. Get back to fucking work.